Good night, everyone. Good night, Facebook. Good night, comrades. Good night, friends. Well, let's hope that people are going to join us soon. Good night, good night, good night, good night, everyone. Good night, comrades, good night, friends. Um, good night. Maybe somebody can do an Irish jig meanwhile. I will wait for a few more people to join us. While you're on, please um, tag every delegate that you know. But particularly tonight, I want to tag every delegate that you know in Southeast St. Anne. Every person, every PMP person that you might know in Southeast St. Anne, tag them. Um, we're still talking to PMP people. This is um, very important, so tag them. So good night, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm going to give you a few minutes so that you can tag and share. Just two or three minutes and then... You just go ahead and tag and share to other people, particularly the delegates and the comrades in Southeast St. Anne. Um, please tag somebody you know. If you know a PMP delegate, send it to them. Send it to even one person. Um, we want them to hear this. We want them to come in. So I'll give you one more minute to share it. And then um, we will begin. Welcome everyone. Let me see if I recognize some names I can hear of some people. Jason Log, I know you're PMP. Princess, big up my friend Richard. My road crew. Good to see you. I know you're a PMP. Hi, Sonny. Sher Pattinger, big up yourself. Good night, Bridget. How are you, my darling? Um, good to see you tuning in. I'm going to tag some PMP people. Yes, Chris. I um, I see you. Glad to have you. Um, Sandra Salad. Good night. Good to have you. Hi, 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 Vanessa. Night, Sherp, Atija. Um, so we're going to start. Come it all the way. That's right. Rohina, I know you're a delegate. Good night, Sonny. <laughs> Petrona, good night. Dalton, good night. Um, good night, everyone. So, um, just tag the delegates of Southeast Center and let's get going. My throat is kind of groggy, groggy a bit, but I'm going to um, get through this um, tonight. Without any time. Tati, good to see you, my darling. Hello, Tati, good to see you, sweetie. New World Socialist, good to see you. Paulette, I think I just saw Paulette. Um, oh, Pauline. Shelly, Shelly Gay. Like I share the life, share the life. That's right, that's right, your party. Tell them to share the life, share the life. Share it, share it. Share it to any delegate you know. Particularly people in the constituency of Southeast St. Anne. For those of you who don't know Southeast St. Anne, Southeast St. Anne is Lisa Anna's constituency. Um, so if you know somebody down there and you have the phone number, um, share it. There's a gentleman I met at the grave digging of Comrade Foreman down in um, Cold Heart the other day. I don't remember your name, but you tell me that you watch all my life. So I'm assuming that you're on tonight. Thank you for joining us and share it to all the people that you know in Cold Heart. Cold Heart is a little district inside of um, 
outside of Claremont. Just a little bit outside of Claremont um, proper. And um, we were up by the grave digging there. So um, glad to have you um, all here tonight. So comrades, let's, um, let's begin. I want to begin first and foremost by um, thanking you all for joining me. Thanking all the people who have been joining us for the last five weeks now. Um, without you, this lives, these lives would not have gotten the, the, the support and, and, the, and, and, and the, the, the publicity that it needed. And I thank you all very much for that. I want to thank the, the PMP Resistance Road Team that have taken days out of their weeks, take away time from their family and their businesses, and come on the road with us to go walk with us. Some, some people, there are too many. Uh, you see pictures of some people where you don't see pictures of some other people that come to us. People from East Kingston that come to us sometime. My little crew that roll out with me. Um, I want to thank Comrade Princess and Comrade Bygrave for um, having been on this journey um, with us to talk to PMP people. I also want to thank the resistance leadership. PMP resistance leadership. All of this could not have happened without you guys. A whole group of women, strong women, and one man. Well, what we we'll include by giving that one man thing, but that one man in the group of PMP resistance people. I want to thank you all because all of this was your idea. When we um, saw all that was happening and we were trying to garner information as to how we got here and why some things were happening. And we all decided that we're going to do a road, a road thing to go find out from PMP people what happened. So I want to thank the PMP resistance road um, leadership. And I want to thank the PMP resistance membership, which is just too many to mention. I can't mention you by name, but you know yourselves. It is you who have kept this movement going. It is your voice on social media. It is your voice in WhatsApp groups. It is your voice in your divisions and your constituencies that have made this movement possible. And nothing happened. Um, everything happened for a reason. And it was um, ordained by, the, by God that we should be here in this moment in history to do this. So I want to thank the PMP resistance um, members and leaders um, for making this, these lives a success and bringing the movement. Finally, I want to thank the resistance, the PMP resistance members in the diaspora. I want to thank them all. I don't know if they want me to mention their name, but I want to thank them all, the diaspora people, the PMP resistance members in London, in Canada, in the US, in Georgia, in California, in Miami, in, in New York, in Maryland, in Michigan. We want to just thank you all. If I miss out any state, please tell me. We want to thank the entire PMP resistance membership that um, contributed financially week after week to make these road tours um, um, necessary, um, successful. We want to thank you very, very much. We want to encourage you to continue to contribute. Um, so that we can go out there and talk to the PMP people. We could not have done it without you. And not only your financial help, but also the fact that you are there to support us on social media as well, the conversations, the WhatsApp meet groups, so, and such things. So we thank you very much for all of that, the PMP resistance members in the diaspora. Um, tonight, comrades, we're, going, we're on the final of the, the lives said we we're going to do five of them and so we're on the final of the live the lives started out and will end the same way it started out talking to the pmp delegates and the pmp people in the pmp constituencies is who we're talking to and tonight we want to specifically talk to the southeast Saint and pmp voters supporters and delegates some things comrades are hard and friends joining us as well 
some things are hard and, 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 and some things are hard rending. Um, some of the things that um, we, we, we have found out, some of the things that we have now come to know. And I have been between two minds all of, um, all of this week. I have been between two minds as to whether, whether I'm going to say the whole story and let you know. But as PMP delegates and PMP leaders in constituency, I am of the view tonight that you can't act unless you know. And you need to know. Because part of your responsibility as PMP delegates and leaders in consequences is to know. Oh, the damn bikes. And you need to know. So we're going to let you know. And um, there are things we're going to share with you tonight that you will hear for the very first time. There's information I'm going to share with you tonight that you need to know. I am going to ask the Christian-minded people on the live to forgive me because I'm going to use one and two words that you might find offensive. I don't use bad words. It's not a bad word, but it's a word that is acceptable universally and can be used on social media as well. But I still want to apologize to the Christian-minded people who might find it um, one or two words that I might use offensive. I assure you that it is important. So please pass on, share the life to the Southeast and, and people. Share the life to the PMP delegates them. Let them come in at this because we want them to understand and to know and to learn. Comrades, in 1960, in 1960, when John F. Kennedy first ran for president, well, it's all the time he ran because they, they killed him before he could run a second term. But when John F. Kennedy ran for president of the United States in 1960, after he secured the nomination of the Democratic Party, the natural course of things began to fall in place, such as finding, the first thing is finding a running mate, somebody who would be vice president to President Kennedy. And the Kennedy clan was a tight-knit clan. They were close family. Them keep everything close to them chest. Them keep everything close to the family. They was like a little mafia all by themselves. The Kennedy family. And so President Kennedy and his brother, Bobby, were very close, very close to each, close, close to each other. They, they started the hunt to find a, a proper vice president, a proper vice presidential candidate to run with Jack as vice president. And they found the right candidate. The right candidate in sense of the person who can help Jack win. But the wrong candidate in terms of whether they like him, yes or no. Because the truth of the matter is, the Kennedys hated Lyndon Johnson. They hated him with a passion. And he felt the same way about them. They thought that he was a country bunking cowboy kind of guy from Texas. And he thought that they were just some uppity, uber-rich Irish immigrant. And them the worth in time. So they hated each other very, very, very much. But Bobby Kennedy, who was a genius behind the operation of the Kennedy campaign, said to his brother Jack and the rest of advisors, we need somebody who can help us win. And the way they, the, way they, the landscape of the electoral college set up back in those days, there wasn't enough um, states that were in play that they could say, okay, Virginia wasn't in play back them time there. Wisconsin wasn't in play in those days. Ohio wasn't in play in those days. You need the big states back in those days, in California and Texas and, and, and those big states and New York and those places to win. And so Bobby Kennedy was looking at the fact that they need a big state because they realize it's going to be a close, close election. So they need somebody from a big state who can deliver that big state for them. And they looked to Lyndon Johnson. And they didn't like Lyndon Johnson. But they decided that Lyndon Johnson would have to be because he can bring Texas. And with Texas, they would have that narrow win. It was a cool, calculated political argument. Bring, bring Johnson on, we will win Texas, we'll win the election. We win Texas, you'll win the election. 
close yes, but you're going to win the election with Texas. And so they approached Johnson and they brought Johnson on and Johnson became the vice presidential candidate. And Kennedy wake up the next morning after the election and found out that he won. And he was president of the United States. And Lyndon B. And Johnson become vice president of the United States. And as much as they did not like each other, John F. Kennedy, I have read pretty much every book that has been written about the Kennedys. Well, I can't read all of them, but I read a lot. A lot of Kennedy books. I have a lot of books about the Kennedys. Last one I, I, I've been reading is the Emerald Kings. And a lot of Kennedy's success was very dependent on Lyndon Johnson. The man that they hated. The man who hated them. A lot of Kennedy's success was dependent on him. And when Kennedy was assassinated, Johnson was the man who signed into law. The, 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 um, the act um, to, 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 uh, the, uh, the, the, the act, it slipped my mind. So come back to me. The, the, Johnson was the one who signed that act into law after Kennedy's death. Um, after Martin Luther King um, died after Kennedy died after all of the unrest and the social unrest and all of that and Johnson became the guy who carried out um, Kennedy's legacy for him why do I tell you that that chapter of history that chapter of history is essential to what we're going to talk about tonight it's essential because in a political movement people will always dislike each other but the essential thing in a political movement, since political parties are exist primarily to gain political power, the most essential thing in a political organization, whether you like each, each other or not, is that no matter how much we dislike each other, we're all going to work together to achieve that one common goal. And that one common goal is winning the elections. That's one common goal. We all are join forces and do it. Obama and Hillary Clinton ran a nasty race against each other. They went all out, Obama people, them went after Hillary in a, some of the most disgraceful kind of way. And if she wasn't a white woman who has been around for a long time, I mean, things would have gone back in those days. But Hillary and, and Obama ran a nasty race. When it was over, here was Obama and Hillary riding in the plane together, laughing and chatting and she could have she could have gotten any position she wanted because obama tell her that and me and you roll together where you want tell me where you want to become because i'm me and you go roll and me and you go unite the democratic party and me and you go deliver the deliver the, the agenda of the democratic party for the for the american people and they work together they work together so well that at the end of obama's term when Hillary was Secretary of State, Hillary's popularity was like in the 80s. Right? And Obama lowered to carry that foreign policy and they worked together and they were successful together as a team because that's how politics work. And they disliked each other terribly back in the campaign. I mean, Bill Clinton went down there and chatted up some things about Obama and the rest of them. I mean, not funny. But at the end of the day, they all recognized that they represent the same party and they all recognize that they have the same agenda to deliver the goods and services for the American people. And so for them, the most important thing was working together to get that done. So that, that, that was no science for them. Now here we are, the People's National Party, 83-year-old party, started by Norman Manley. And when Norman Manley started the People's National Party, he meant it with all his heart. He meant it to be a People's National Party. People's National Party. And Norman didn't have to spell it out. But the way he organized the party and the way he led the party, it was clear that Norman's intention was for the party to be a vehicle of change for the people of Jamaica.
But not only have vehicle of change of the people's national for the people of Jamaica, Norman also because of the way he led it and the people that were in it with him, also meant the party to be a party of integrity and decency and honesty. A party that would stand with each other and stand beside each other. A party that no matter what happened, at the end of the day, we coalesce around each other as a party. And that was Norman Manley's intent. So, that is how the People's National Party was made out to be. 2019, Bunting lost the race, lost the race against um, Peter Phillips. And I want to use this final live to big up Comrade Dr. Peter Phillips, a man of integrity and honor and decency, a man with um, a deep sense of duty and responsibility. And that deep sense of responsibility and duty is what um, makes him the man he is. That no matter what is thrown against him, he takes it with, with, with a nobleness about him that is worthy of not only mention but emulation. Dr. Peter Phillips will be known in this country um, in years to come. We will be talking to our sons about Dr. Peter Phillips and encouraging them to be as noble and as committed and as loyal and genuine and true a man as Dr. Comrade Peter David Phillips. And I want to big him up. And I'm bigging him up because some of the things we're going to talk about tonight is going to reveal just what a decent man Dr. Peter Phillips is. It's going to reveal it in a real way. Just what a good and decent person that man is. And I know he must have gotten it from his, mom, from his mother. Can't be from his, I don't know his father, but I knew his mother. His mother was in the hospital when I met her. He came down to um, the Memorial Hospital right around Caledonia right there. I don't remember what name. Right around there, she was. And he was going down there one evening. I would jump to the car with him, me and Pinky. I went down there. I would met his mother. She was on her bed. She, she was going to die maybe two weeks after that she died. But we met her. And just watching she and him, I knew that he got that courage and that sense of duty and loyalty from her. I have no doubt in my mind about it. So Peter Bunting, after losing the 2019 elections, after he challenged Dr. Phillips, and um, he lost the elections. You would think that, having lost the elections, all that he's going to do now, if he's a true PMP, is to fold up him tent, him rice tent, fold up the tent, or burn it down, or dash it away, or somewhere. I don't prefer him burn it up and dash it away. But him fold it up. Him job is to fold up that tent. And for go to him, him leader, who now still remains leader. And him need to say to him leader, say, I am yours, boss. Tell me how you want me to help. That is how this thing work. You're supposed to go and say to the, your, your leader, how you want me to help. You lose. Him win. You must go to him now and say, tell me how I can help. I asked him. I asked Peter Phillips. In the 2020 elections. I asked him. I text him. Tell me how I can help. Where I can help. That was my message to him. And he answered me and tell me how and where I can help. After all that I have said about him. That's what he did. So the responsibility was to do that. But no. No, no, no. Mr. B couldn't do that at all. That was just too much for him. Because he was a PMP. He was never a PMP. He was never a comrade. He was always an opportunist and he saw the PMP as that vehicle to provide the opportunities that he needed. So he was never a PMP and he was never a comrade. He joined the PMP and ran for Clarendon and married you know, Michael Manley family to stay close to Michael Manley. You know, divorced the first wife, married to Michael Manley, daughter-in-law, so he can in the Manley clan. So it would help him to propel him to the leadership of the PMP. But Michael dead left him with that. Shortly after him divorced a woman. Now, having lost in 2019, he never do that. What did Bunting do? Bunting went on a, on a tour, a tour of the country. And the consequences, he called it a thank you tour. Where I'm going to thank the people who supported him in the 2019 elections. 
Now I want you to think with me, you know. I want PMP delegate, may I talk to you, you know. I want you to think with me. Because we're not thinking delegates. And we hope that the last four weeks we have been teaching you how to think as PMP, Norman Manly delegates. Why on God's green earth would you want to go do a tour of consequences for thank them, for support you, and you damn lose? Why? Wouldn't you think that if, well, I would think that you are the loser and you have some people where they support you. You carry the lead, go to the leader, you say to the leader, say, you know, comrade leader, I was thinking of going out to thank the people who support me. I think it's me and you should go. Don't not think that. PMP delegates, don't answer me. Don't not think that him should do that. I go and go thank the PMP people them and more you for come with me so that them can see say, me and you united. But no. Mr. B never do that. PB never do that. He couldn't do that. He couldn't make a short ass man when I have nothing to do. I like tall people. I like big man because I'm short and teeny bit and little bit. So, he couldn't do that. He went around the country in the guise of thanking people. And do you know what he used that opportunity to do? Because he never really got to thank people. Under the guise of thanking people, he was basically preparing them for his master plan. His master plan. He was preparing them for. So there was some like a thank you in it. But most of it was just underhanded, undermining. And I'm going to get to it for you. Things that he was saying to the people them going forward. Instead of telling them to come out, come vote. And we're going to work with the leader. Those words never came out of his mouth. In not one of those meetings. And I challenge any one of them. To show me. A tape recorder or find somebody to tell me that him saying at one of those meetings. Not one of those meetings. And I can make that calculation that he did not say any of that in one of the meetings. Because he never said any of that in the first four meetings. None of that. Thank you, comrades. We're one party now. Let us move forward with Comrade Peter Phillips. We have work to do. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We can win. Let us go. Not one time did he utter those words. Not once to those people that him say him go out to go thank. Him go out to show them that him daddy and him not gonna away. And him not care what leader. Cause him wanna be leader. And them are feeing people. Cause him buy them and pay for them and them for us jam. And just wait till him call him. That that was the the underlying message, the subtle message to the people them that he was talking to. And he began what we now call a massive operation for the PMP to lose the election. And I can't tell your comrades, only Comrade Princess and Comrade Bygrave can tell you just how crestfallen and depressed I was when I heard some things. It's like I, could, I was dumbstruck. I was depressed for about three, four hours. I was depressed. I didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to say. Having heard some of the things that these guys was carrying out in the middle of an election, just before an election. They put together a plan to destabilize some consequences, to make sure these consequences lose. I know I said this last week and I'm repeating this to you. Andre Orton. Vaz in Westmoreland. Lisa Anna. Imani Duncan Price. Crystal. There was a plan in place. And that plan was to make sure these people lose. I want to listen to me and PMP people because this is the final of the five lives. And at the end of this, I want Uno PMP people to remember, go back and watch some of the lives and go ask them. Part of the responsibility as delegates is to seek information. Don't take my word for it. Don't just take my word for it. Go ask them. Go and look for them, seek them out and ask them. What did they do? During the, during the elections. 
You go see them out and ask them. Go ask them about that one page that I sent them. Go ask them about the operation that they led against Vaz and Orton and Imani and Crystal. I will get into the Lisa Hanna thing. Because that is going to just turn you upside down. The whole Southeast Centre and thing. So then put that plan in place. Systematic plan. Luther regarded it. Luther's attitude because I'm and Dayton in charge of it. Luther Buchanan and Dayton Campbell and Ian Hills too. And is Luther's own theme thing was, well, I wouldn't know who would be now. She wouldn't know if she would be. Why well, I look like him would be, you know. No, we'd be, you know. I think him would be. Why the body would be Who looks? Anybody know who would be for lose? For lose? Anybody know who would be for lose? We can't Billy back. We Billy back. We Billy back, man. Make them lose. Lisa for lose, man. Oh, see? She for lose. What I for lose? Yeah, man, all big girl dating Campbell. Why may I tell you, said a girl if you lose, a girl if you lose, what a girl if you lose. And we'll get to that. We'll get into that, comrades. Because even before I came on, I was lying down right here and just going through it over and over in my head and wondering to myself, when did we get here? When did the people's national party reach a point? We're a group of people who we thought was PMP joined with a group of money man to take down PMP when it's like a cancer that has infiltrated the People's National Party. A cancer of money over loyalty. A cancer of money over patriotism. A cancer of power. Over decency. Over loyalty. Power and money first. And Peter Bunting and Mark Golden are the ones who introduced that to the PMP. And it's a cancer that's eating out the PMP. It's a cancer that has caused PMP people to eat each other. It's a cancer that caused PMP people to afraid to open their mouth and say something about something that they know wrong. That's the kind of cancer it is. PMP leaders in constituencies and division afraid to open their mouth and talk about things that they know wrong. Because the cancer in the PMP the cancer of money and power. Angela Brown Burke and her husband Paul Burke. That bunting have introduced in the PMP. Two or three Fridays ago. I think it was three Fridays ago. I coming down on Mullines Road. And I saw a rise comrade. Former member of parliament. Big up in rise. I saw him at Mullines Road. And I thought that he was going across the road to his car. So I wind down my glass and I hear him push me through the window and say, Yo, comrade, so and so I call him. And him look up and him see me. And for an instant he was taken aback. And then he said, ah, what are you going to carry? What are the man? What are the man? And I pulled over and stopped. And he come to the car door. And I said, what are you going? And he said, no, I said, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you for the longest while. What are you doing? He said, boy, I'm there. You know, something wrong with my car and MSUV. And it's not drive. And he thinks there's gas. He's going to get gas and it's still not drive. And he want to go find a mechanic. And I said, where's your mechanic? He said, mechanic there. Retirement road or retirement cruising or somewhere there. And he can't get him on the phone. So I said, Say, ask me if we can carry him to the mechanic. I said, Yeah, man, I'll carry you to the mechanic. There's a regular Friday if you're not coming from somewhere to stop. So while he went back to his car to lock up his car, I made a call to my mechanic. I called my mechanic. And I said, Renan, I need to find an electrician. An electric, uh, uh, electrician. Where can I find a a mechanical electric electrician right now. But they write and see what you have. You're doing one nearby. I run out and say, yeah, man. There's an Indian guy named Indian. Right and see what drive in front of Tankwell. I know Indian. I never knew him was an electrician. But he really not an electrician. He owned the place. So we drive go around here. And we couldn't find the electrician up on the road. So Indian said, um, him not come back here right now. So I said to the comrade, say, boy, all right, let me... Let me try somewhere else. Um, um, so I call back Renard and Renard said, try down Marvely. And we, we go over there, 
that get bus to. So sorry, I'm going to go pa. I'm going to say, I'm going to cash up. I'm going to drive up and down with him, you know. Me a drive up and down with him, and me a drive. And he have a car. And we're having good conversation. And this is a comrade who basically not chat to nobody. Because he's a riser and he take the people their money. Couldn't deliver a vote, not one. Because that's soul now listen to him. About any vote. But him there. They treat him like a comrade. I feel good to see him. I'm glad to see him, actually. Can give me an opportunity to have discussions with him. And we're talking, chit chat about the politics and, and Ray Ray, blah, blah. And Ray Ray, yeah. Became a retirement road, became a cash up park. We circle up one time and come back in stop by in place and buy um juice for me and him. And then I carry him home. I tell him, say, boy, the car see which part it there. Because the police are out there until about 7.30 tonight because of the traffic on a Friday. So you can go home, find somebody, go, go fix it, and then you come back the night. If you need me, call me. So I drive up and down all over backside place and look for mechanic. Then carry him home. You know where I tell you it? Let me tell you where I tell the story. For the entire journey, every time we stop and every time we have to go on and move on, it begins to say how oh, much I'm grateful and how oh, much I'm thankful. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I keep saying that. It was after I came home I understood why he kept saying that. He knew what went on in the PMP. He he, he knows all that took place. He knows where all the risers are with them vitriolic hatred and them beating up a PMP people. He knows. So it was surprising to him that somebody like me would have taken him up my mechanic and drive him around to find a mechanic like me now have nothing to do with me Friday evening. Just do it. So it was surprising to him. It wasn't surprising to me. It was nothing for me. It was easy for me to say to him, come let me carry you. Easy. Because me a PMP. I me know him as a PMP. But it was hard for him to accept that I would do it just like that. Because of all that has happened under that rise leadership. So that is why it happened. So I just, I just passed to tell you that, to, to tell you that one story about it. But Bunting has introduced a kind of cancer in the PMP that has taken over the PMP and caused PMP people to behave like, like stragglers. You know, PMP people are behave like them are enemy to everybody. PMP, normal PMP people say PMP people are not talk to PMP people and I cut them yipers, PMP people, and I throw them word pump PM. I mean, PMP normally I throw word pump PMP, but in a joke if I way. This was getting serious. And that's what Bunting did. So he lost in 2019 and started this operation to make the PMP lose. And they did it. And you would ask yourself, as I asked myself, how did they, how were they able to convince so many PMP people that this was a good idea? How were they able to do that? They were able to do that because the PMP from PJ left is like the checks and balance and the, the, the protective barriers of the PMP fell apart. The whole thing fell apart. Nobody now watch what nobody had do. Nobody don't care about what nobody had do. Everybody on them own doing all kinds of different things. And that's how they were able to get doing it. And they knew that nobody was keeping check on them. But most of all, they knew that Peter Phillips, a man of integrity, would not listen to a soul bad mouthing them and believe them persons there and go after them. They knew that. So they were able to carry out that operation without anybody knowing it. So let us jump to South East Center. I wanted to preamble it by that. So the resistance road team went down to South East Center. And it was a good run. It was a good run to roll into Beacherville, um, out in Beachertown there, and to stop by Liston and to eat vegetable soup. And him tell us that Lisa passed there all the time and stop and buy soup from him and all the rest of it. And then we hanging out at Jennifer shop and we moving on about the place and we stop people and talk to people and we and people are having conversation. We stop by the constituency office, we roll down to the market, 
We went up to Miss Foreman grave digging and we do all kind of something. And people tell us things. And people confided in us. And people tell us what they were doing down there. A group of gentlemen we were having a conversation with, I think it was Jennifer, the lady named Jennifer Shopper, Richard and Princess can correct me. This group of gentlemen on the sharing the lives of the PMP people in Southeast um, St. Anne. So this group of gentlemen we're having a conversation with. One of, some of them said to us, we said to them, say, so, tell us, give one of you, why do you think we nearly lose the constituency? Why Lisa and I nearly lose the constituency? And they gave us their views. We asked to see the women and the same thing. And they gave us their views. Everything starts with too much things that are going on. Why everywhere we go? The first conversation that come out of PMP people mouth when you ask them why something happened here, so why them start by saying too much things that are going on. Why? And them not assess what so much of those things was going on. Them not tell you what was going on right away. They must tell you what things are going on before them get to it. PMP people, not as stupid as Bunting and them crew believe. Because while Bunting was deep in his operation to destabilize the PMP and cause PMP to lose seats and lose the election, PMP people were paying little attention to him. PMP people was paying look attention to some of the things that was happening. So let me tell you now. The man them decide that they're going to conduct their most important operation thus far. And that operation is to make sure that Lisa Anna lose PMP constituency, South East St. Anne. And they decided that they're going to do it in a particular way. And they're going to employ, not employ in terms of pain, but they're going to get together a group of people that hate Lisa Anna. A group of people that will fight, that will help, help them fight Lisa Anna for Lisa Anna to lose the constituency. So they start to have these little meetings. They meet in St. Mary. They meet in St. Anne. They might meet at people's house. They might meet in a hotel. And they might meet on farm. And they start to have these meetings. And how to make Lisa Anna lose. Those were the meetings that were having. And I'm going to back up a little bit, PMP people, because we need to have it in a context. So I'm going to back up a little bit. Everybody know that Lisa and our, and our council them now get along. Everybody know. Them now get along and whole of things in the newspaper and whole of people are talk about this and whole of people are talk about that and Lisa and our council them at war and them are say Lisa and I do this and Lisa and I now defend herself. Mark, you know, everything with them say Lisa and I should defend herself about it, you know. So I'm going to start talking about the council them first. We're getting to the espionage thing with them do. I'm not going to be shocked out of the senses. And to how this thing went, the highest level of the PMP that this thing went to. So here is Lisa and our councillors then. Councillor Lydia. Benson Tan um, Division, I think. Former Councillor Garrick. Monique Man. Where? I don't think where is Councillor. Um, where is Councillor still? Where? The where is Claremont and um, Bell is um, Beach at all. So here they are. When Garrick lost his race in the last um, local government election, who did Garrick blame? Garrick blamed Lisa Anna. Why? Because them softballs, man, they can't stand up. Them softballs, man, they can't stand up on them foot and take no responsibility for nothing that they did. Because Garrick knew that it wasn't Lisa's fault why he lost. Garrick knew that his theme shenanigans down at the, down at the, the, the council that caused Williams to run against him. Whatever shenanigans he made go on with down at the council. And we know Garrick. We know all the shenanigans he made go on with down at the council. And you never pay attention to those shenanigans. As a PMP councillor, you never consider it your responsibility as a PMP councillor to defend the integrity of the PMP for the money division. 
You never do that. Instead, you lay yourself careless. And Williams, who is a member of the executive, but because most of those executives made up of people who don't know nothing about PMP values and PMP attitudes and PMP modus operandi. So Williams feel free that he could go contend, the ele contend elections against him sitting councillor. Why did Williams feel that he can go do that against him sitting councillor? He could have do it because too much mix up down there. Money, um, Garrick. Come on, Garrick. Everybody knows say you're dirty and dishonest and all kind of shenanigans are going on at the council. The whole out no. But we'll get into the rest of them. We'll talk about you first, Garrick. So you lose the damn elections. Williams, who was sitting on the executive, decided to challenge you. And Williams felt that he could challenge you. Why did Williams feel that he could challenge you? He could challenge you because as an executive member, Williams don't understand what his responsibility and duty is as an executive member that he won't challenge the sitting PMP councillor just so. You don't challenge him because you don't like him. You don't challenge him because he's about to something you don't like. You don't just get up and put PMP seat in jeopardy because you want him at war. And then when you're done, you want to blame on a member of parliament because she don't know shenanigans. So I'm loose. And Garrick, up to this day, have not taken full responsibility for his loss of the money division. And I don't know what happened with Williams. I don't know if he's still at the PMP. But there's a PMP have come to where we have people by executive. We don't understand their responsibility as PMP. The man challenged him sitting councillor. Because him and him have some little tamarind that could easily be, have worked out. But no, him not interested in that. Him hate him councillor. Him a war with him councillor. So I'm going to challenge him councillor. And him sit on the PMP executive in the constituency that him challenging him councillor. And those are not just... Those are not just an attitude issue or a, a matter of a man vexed with a man or there's a problem with a man. Those are issues that are deep rooted in the fact that people who sit on constituent executive don't understand why they're there. They don't understand that it's a privilege and an opportunity to sit on a constituent executive and you have certain responsibility when you sit on a constituent executive and you don't just get up as a member of the constituent executive. And challenge the city councillor because you had him a war down at the, the, the council. You don't just do that, but Williams never understand that. And about not tell him that. So he just do it. And Gary lose. And the first thing that softball man did when he lose is to blame a member of parliament. I don't know what he would want a member of parliament to do. Because when I check out the information, the member of parliament wasn't even aware of some things that was going on now the council between him and them. And him lose, and there he is. Councillor Lydia. Councillor Bell. And Councillor Weir. Boy, I'm telling you. I have never seen and never experienced a group of people like these people in Southeast St. Anne. The people of Benson Town Division elected Comrade Lydia to serve them, to be their counselor. And she has failed at that. The people of Beecherwood Division elected Councillor Bell and him failed at that too. We we'll get into it, you know. We we'll be patient, man. Patience is not only a virtue, you know. Patience is also a divine strategy. Patience. Now the elections come in 2020. And instead of working to win back the PMP seat, the councillors them join hands and hearts together with Bunting and him crew. And one Mr. McDonald, aka Wizzy, to lose the elections. Now, PMP delegates. I want to better understand this, you know. I want to understand this. The PMP councillors join hands with a wannabe Dan who has spent his entire time for the last 20 years destabilizing PMP constituency of Southeast Centre and them join with him. 
Lydia sleep with him. We don't know who else has sleep with him. So she believed that her duty is not to the people of Benson Town Division, but her duty and responsibility is to Wizzy. I want to know, understand me, PMP people. There's a PMP councillor who the PMP people from Benson Town Division elected to serve them. But instead of serving them, she has served Wizzy. She has served him in a bed and she has served him with the council money. She has served him with the work. She has served him with herself. She's not serving the people of the Benson Town Division. Yes, Lydia, I give me a chat on the tagger and send it to her. You're not serving the people you're serving, Wizzy. And they are joined with Wizzy to destabilize your member of parliament for loose PMP consequences. On a labor right. And so, do you understand? Let's put that one side and move on. So, Bunting started having meetings. All over the country, I'm having meetings. But there were some specific meetings being held in South East Saint Anne, specifically targeting the destabilization of South East Saint Anne to get rid of Lisa Anna. Now, I want to hear me and the PMP people. Because this is not about Lisa Anna. This is on a tag the PMP people in South East Saint Anne. This is not about Lisa Anna. None of these lives is about any particular one person in the PMP. This is about PMP. This is about UNU where elect leaders. And this is about UNU where elect divisional and constituency leaders. UNU worthy of being called PMP. So this has nothing to do with Lisa. Lisa is just the MP now. But there was a time when Aluna Samba was also the MP. And at the same set of people run she way with them shenanigans. And yes, Alun, me know you the night. You remind me of one of them, woman. Aluna Samba, are you me attack? I mean, you're gonna watch. You remind me of them abuse women when them man beat them up. And every morning, man, them show up with them bust up face and them black eye and them bust head and a up on them foot and, and them clothes tear up. And talk about them and the dog. Them that try to catch a dog and the dog make them drop or them lick up at the door or the broom or you have the broom and you swing the broom and the broom. I've heard all those stories. So you are Samba, you come here, go them abuse woman. We make excuse to the man who abuse you. Because Wizzy ran the same thing against you. Yes, as Aluna Samba, he did. And he was in charge of all things because he was Lord of all creation in South East St. Anne. Well, Master Wizzy, I hope you tune into this. I hope you tune into this. So this is not about Lisa. So Bunting. Bunting, Angela Brown Burke, Paul Burke, Garnet Roper, and the councillors for South East St. Anne meeting to discuss how they were gonna make Lisa Anna lose. And I want to remind you again, you know, Lisa Anna name is a name that on the ballot paper. For the PMP. But when you're going there and put that X, that X go beside the head, you know. That's a symbol of the People's National Party. So when you destabilize a constituency, you're talking about you destabilize and you're gonna make Lisa and I lose. A PMP, you wanna lose, you know. So it's a damn labor right. You know, PMP. So no matter don't, don't mix up the two things, you know. You are organized for Lisa and I to lose. Are you telling me that as PMP, the councillors may attack? Who make PMP people elect them? Who PMP people elect? Who no as councillors? Who no me attack? Who no, no consider to yourself that we do not organize for Lisa Anna to lose? Who no organize for the PMP to lose the PMP seat? Who no organize for PMP to lose Faggy Mullins seat? Who no think about that? Dunce councillors what them have done? Who no think about that? No, you can't beat me. Trust me. I'm being very respectful too, you know. But a truth me attack. And if I, if I say anything that might come across as disrespectful, please, don't take it as that. And that disrespecting the councillors. You, is it? Different, different argument that. I'm not disrespecting the councillors. I know Lydia. I know Lydia very well. I know Garrick. Garrick was part of the YO leadership. When I was in the YO. I know him very well. I don't know the next two. But I know the, them kind. Particularly Councillor Bell. And I'm going to get to that. You know, down the line if we don't have the time for weapon that. So here we are. 
Bunting, Garnet Roper, Angela Brown Burke, Paul Burke, the counselors, and busy meeting on the farm to work out the plan to how to make Philip Agenda, how to make Lisa Anna lose. Inadvertently, how to make PMP lose Faggy Mullins seat. Because we know them not right. So them not think of that. But I'm telling you, comrades, the thing that hurt me the most right here, so now, I want to pause and tell you, that there was another person at that meeting. There was another person at that meeting, more than once, more than one meeting. A person that we all looked up to. A former senior officer in the People's National Party. Someone that we all love and look up to. Someone who has spent his entire, the last 30 years to make sure that Peter Phillips don't become party leader and don't become prime minister. That has been his, his whole thing. And that senior former officer was taking part in an espionage meeting to destabilize a PMP candidate. The party that he was once an officer in. The party that gave him every single thing he has. Angela Brown Burke. Paul Burke. Garnet Roper, that's why them, them sent him off to Africa. One of them day we're going to have a... We're going to have a live, a, a lively conversation on Facebook and talk about all the things they went them said in Africa. And they were meeting to put the plan in place as to how to make Lisa Anna lose. Counselors, PMP people in South East Saint Anne, you know, tag the South East Saint Anne people them. You know, like, you know, counselors to represent you know. I want to know, listen. I want them to listen tonight. Uno rep uno elect them to represent uno and them spend all their life down here as representative of the people trying to destroy the PMP constituency in their hatred against their member of parliament. I want to understand the South East and these are the people uno elect. Uh, uno don't know the story because we see him every now and then when something crop up, him threaten to demonstrate. Against him, against him, member of parliament. He must threaten to organize them. Who will organize? Uno, Uno, South East Saint Anne people. Because him think Uno have him, him have no ticket. So Uno must be some little licky licky people from down the South East Saint Anne. Where him, who's a nobody, think him can mobilize PMP people to come demonstrate against Uno, member of parliament. South East Saint Anne will not do. Seriously. Una PMP, Faggy Mullins was no MP. Well, you know, I do. You have this little full of loops, man. I run rings round, you know, and I tell the things about the member of parliament. And I mobilize him to come demonstrate against the member of parliament. And why? You know, ever ask him why he had South East Saint Anne? Well, let me tell you why. He might carry pussy feelings for Lisa Anna. That's all it is. Lisa didn't do him nothing. He might walk around with file. Big file and bag of things going to the, the corrupt media personalities that bunting pay if you listen to him chat crap about a member of parliament a uno make this like a fool fool man this wanna be done a run rings round you know, and I tell them about to demonstrate against a member of parliament and I tell them so no for go, go vote yes with the people I'm tell we some man down at the bar down a cold heart tell we some man call you P hole some man call you scum. Some man say you are idiot. You are answer, look at idiot. Then we are follow behind you. And all you ever do is mash up the constituency. You know, me say so. And the people in your constituency say so. I'm going to show you one video. I put one video up on Facebook today. When I'm done. With princess and one man. Princess having a whole long conversation. With a man and one bar. And the, the loudest mouth there. 
They are talking him was a PMP and him was a PMP man we we was call for cook when the big wig them come down and stuff and then him, him left PMP and of course Princess of Superman said you are always a labor right <laughs> Princess of Superman said you were never a PMP you were always a damn labor right true and the councillors in a southeast Saint Anne. Seymour Faggy Mullins constituency organizing with a thug to answer to the member of parliament and lose PMP seat and Angela Brownberg and Paul Burke are his enablers they have been enabling him from the beginning so let us back right up and go back to the beginning it makes sense I promise you it will make sense to you I was a vice chairman of region 3 when Lisa and I came to join the PMP, I was a vice chairman in Region 3. Philip Paul was the chairman. And Philip Paul was a very splendidious chairman. Treated us well. Have officers meeting all over the place. Made them feel kind and nice to us, which is often. So this particular Saturday morning, Philip Paul took us to this location for an officers meeting it was close to the election so we needed an officers meeting and we invited some special people to talk about specific constituencies and we invited the people from those specific constituencies mainly west rural because i remember comrade garrett walker was there at that meeting because me and him was me and him was just at it all the time over west rural and in the meeting comrade paulwell said comrade paul look pleased with himself and him said that um you know in a little while, he'll have to duck out of the meeting because something great is going to happen to the PMP today. Those are Comrade Paulwell's word. Something great is going to happen to the PMP today. A wonderful thing is going to happen to the PMP. I me just get back. I tell me get back. Mr. Comrade Paul, you know something. I don't mean, like surprises. You know? me, me, I don't like surprises. So as a Comrade Paul, I don't like surprises. And if you're, you shouldn't better bring it up if you're not going to say something. What is going to happen to the PMP today? And of course, him keeping tight lip. Of course, him know me slick. So me just quietly get up and go outside. And in my quest to look for the bathroom, trying to figure out what is going to happen, what great thing is going to happen to the PMP today. And then just as I turned the corner, we had a very nice breakfast or whatever it is they were preparing for us, was being prepared. I saw Lisa Anna walked in and Richard Lake with her. And I said to myself, all right, either Richard Lake is going to finance the PMP election campaign, or Lisa and I come join the PMP. That's what I said to myself. So being satisfied now that I'm not going to be surprised anymore because I don't like surprises, I went back into the meeting. I said, come with Paul, are you sure you should be in here now? Because I think your thing started. <laughs> I think your thing started now. <laughs> Come and Paul me say. At the same time, him look, him look, him, 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 him look at him, watch him, I look at him phone and say, Oh, yes, all right, I'll be gone for about 20 minutes, so you guys can continue. And uh, I say, Yeah, boy. And he went. Came back about 25 minutes' time. Very chirpy and bright and full of light because something great happened to the PMP. Lisa Hannah just came to join the PMP. And let me just in interject something here. The whole of will have talked about Dayton Camber. Are you me a chat to right now with this? You lab about Miss Lashy. You piece of crap. You're, you're coming like them big girl. You know them big dirty girl we have on the frock with button up and the button good. The button them miss miss. And she have one cigarette behind her ears. And I hear cut out, cut out. So she have a cigarette behind her ears. I want a cigarette in her corner. Yes, and one spliff in her hand and the copper and the copper rum in 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 in, in her hand, yeah, so them that big dirty girl are you that did Campbell. Yeah, you may chat. You didn't Campbell love talk about labor right. You're talking about the laborization of the PMP. Talk about Lisa Anna was a labor right. Lisa Anna did join G2K. We are absolutely certain of that. But just in case some people never knew Dayton Campbell, 
You did pledge to join G2K at UWI too. Yes. You, Dayton Campbell, did a join G2K at UWI too. You take the people about money the night before the launch. The launch was like tomorrow morning. And you take the people about money and didn't show up the next morning. You took the people and money, the G2K people money, Dayton Campbell, and you didn't show up the next day at the launch. We are packing the people and money. People want about their money. They want about their money. And you didn't turn up for the launch. But you're the giant too. You did a meeting them. Two, three meeting. You were deep into the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take the people and money. And say you're going to show up the next day. And never show up. You're, you're a dishonorable scum. Lisa Anna is a honorable woman. She turned up. And she did join G2K. But Lisa Anna came. And she joined the PMP. And it was exciting times for the PMP. I must admit, I wasn't that excited, but it was exciting times for the PMP. About a week after the thing was announced, some people start saying that she's not a member of the People's Asha Party. She needs to be a member of the People's Asha Party. She's not a member. And at that time, I don't think we had individual members where she could have filled out a form and be an individual member and join. So along came the Burks. Oh, the Burks. Great philanthropists. Yeah, man. Along came the Burks. Kind-hearted and good-natured people. And offered Lisa Hannah to join them group. The new foundation group in East Kingston. Big group in East Kingston. Most members of that group, they live in East Kingston, don't come from East Kingston, but they are member of a new foundation group. Because Paul Burke can't get nobody from East Kingston for giant nothing where I do. Because I don't want to be a part of nothing with Paula and Angela do. So I forget a whole bunch of people from outside of East Kingston for giant that the group there. And that the group there is, most of that and Paul Burke use that group to dedicate it this time to undermine Philip Paulwell. Yeah man, that, that, that group is basically designed. Not all the members in it. There are some good PMP people in it. But it's designed to undermine Philip Paulwell. So them offer Lisa Anna to let her join the new foundation group. So Lisa Anna joined the new foundation group in order to legitimize her membership to the PMP so that we can PMP can get to put her in the seat coming up to the election. Now, when Lisa joined the group, after she joined the group, I don't know how long she was a member for her. Uh, I don't know. Um, but after a while, she started to get wind of how the Burks them operate, you know. They want to control you and direct you. Tell you what you must do, what you must say. Who you must deal with, who you mustn't deal with. Wah, 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 ray, 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 and bay, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So, of course, most people who know Lisa know that she's not going to take that crap from them. So, she run. And trust me, kudos to you, Lisa. You run from them like a thief. That's a good thing. I don't know what happened if you did that with them. So Lisa Anna broke away from them. They couldn't control her. And that set off what we now know to be a long-standing war and fight against Lisa Anna by Angela and Paul Burke. And they employed, not pay, not, not a pay employed, but they employed the services of one Dayton Campbell. As them emissary and them agent down in St. Anne to ensure that Lisa and her life is a miserable one down there as member of parliament. I mean, we're going to get to some part because Lisa is totally innocent in all of this in South East St. Anne. You know. There are some things we share for answer to, but we'll get into to that. So his job was to make sure that Lisa and her life is miserable. And he carried out that job well. And then Lydia, for some strange reason, I don't know who died and made her be a bride, but for some strange reason she thought she could be a member of parliament and she could challenge Lisa. I've never seen nothing so foolhardy in all my life. But that is the nature of what the people in Kingston set up for Lydia and, 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 and Garrick and Weir and the rest of them and headed by Busy. To destabilize the constituency of Southeast Saint Anne. So that's it. That, that, that has been something that's been going on now for years. 
half of them run out of Samba. Lisa and her keep constituents at conference. And Southeast Saint and people that are alive want to know, understand and listen to me. The constituency, leadership are keep the constituency conference. And Uno, the elected councillors that the PMP people elected to serve Norman Manley Party, they are with you to keep other conference. I tell us how to live right. Uno, the PMP executive, um, Constituency conference I keep uh, Uno Ghana Wizzy I gonna keep at a conference. Wizzy, the man, the man, oh yeah, in charge of all things. And Wizzy have spent a lot of years destabilizing the PMP constituency, and he has not done it alone. He has done so with the help and the enablement of many PMP big wigs. The whole of them are hang out with him. Come at Kingston, come look for them, come at them party, in there, them thing in there. I want to tell the South East Saint Anne. I tell the South East Saint Anne people, I tell you again, I tell PMP people all over the country. Anyone who see with you and any PMP big way, take a picture. Take a picture. The whole of them are hang out with him. And that are enhable him. He's enhable because he can come to a party of a vice president. When we had good, good vice president, that was. And he can go to the, the party of the general secretary. When we had good, good general secretary. And he go to the party of this and he go to that. And him dead so and him there so and him all over the place. Because everybody and he able to hug him up. So he feel empowered. He feel like he get the okay from all of these people. We are hugging him up. For God, on a PAP constituency. Come back it up. And one of the councillors who has never served the people. PMP people from Benson Town Division. We need to hold on a, on a council, Lydia. To account. Call her to account, man. We have the power. A full of power. Call her up. Ask her who she represent. Who are him. Ask her where the money them there. Ask her where the resources the constituency there. If she tell the whole like him. Ask her. A full of responsibility that are who vote for them. PMP people. Who ask them. We are here, so you're behaving yourself now, but you can't escape this. You was a part of all of that. You're a big part of that council. We are the whole of them there under mine, uno MP. Southie Saint Anne, them down there under mine, uno MP, wanna vote for. And cause her to nearly lose the seat. And guess what? They were going to make sure lose that seat and rejoice of losing PNP seat. Your sister never labor right. They were, they were organizing, meeting. Meeting to put in place a strategy to make the PMP lose South East Center and then Uno have a labor right MP. One of do with a labor right MP because I don't know. I really do not know what Lydia and Garrick and Bell and Weir was thinking that them could make Lisa and a lose a seat and Uno remain counselor. Uh, uh, uno not a basic school. Seriously. No, 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 basic school. No, basic school never never sent and one another school. How oh, una figure that una go make Lisa lose and una go win and be remain counselor? Una dance art what what? I do not know. I do not know how to figure that. And to add insult to injury, a leading officer, former officer of the PMP, was attending those meetings. And believe you me, comrades, when I tell you, I am tempted to call you. Call out the name of the officer. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I don't think it will make the PMP look good. And these people do enough damage to the PMP. But I'm going to hold him to account. I'm not going to get away with it. I promise you that. And them are beat. And them don't know how to do espionage activity. And bunting who was a former minister of national security, who have access to certain things, could have asked the CIA to lend him their manual and read up how to conduct espionage activity. Please. And then I meet a farm. And who not keep espionage activity? I want to hire a caterer. But I want to understand yourself. What kind of espionage activity is that? That want to hire a caterer. That Uno don't know. What do you think will happen? Uno watch TV. Uno never watch The Godfather. Uno watch gangster movie. 
on the higher caterer after we have the first meeting on the higher the caterer second meeting on the higher the same caterer the caterer came arm um, with our camera she came arm um, with our camera the catty came arm um, with our camera man and we have all of you pan jamaica's dumbest criminal camera we have you know, on camera that video jamaica's dumbest criminals that's uno we have an open camera. Platin. And Peter Bunting. You know, we have your pan camera, right? Because you're paying dearly for that cap for that for that for that film. Huh? Can the young the young lady blackmailing you? Have you reported her to the police that you're blackmailing you? Because blackmail is a crime, you know. PB, somebody. Tag PB there for me. We have the video titled Jamaica's Dumbest Criminals. I'm going to pan tape. Plotting. Alone we have pan tape. Garnet Roper, Tita Bunting, Angela Brownberg, Paul Christopher. Jamaica's Dumbest Criminals. The I want to put the PMP to shame at Paul Burke, who's a man who's a Cuba is a socialist. You know, idiot. What are you, idiot? Angela with her full, full faith degree from this unknown place. You said, what are you, idiot? Jamaica's dumbest criminals undermining the PMP, causing the PMP to lose a seat. I want to plot. I want to plan. I want to organize. That's not how people do espionage activity. Them tape on the ass. You never know. Oh yeah, they tape on the ass. A bunch in pain dearly for that. And Uno, PMP councillors down there, a hobnob and a hug up with this thug, Wizzy, who think him in charge of PMP constituency as out he sent and a Uno, the PMP councillors, who feel obligated to him. Yes, when Wizzy, when, um, Lisa went into South East Saint and yes, he contributed to our campaign. Of course he did. But if you want to be a big shot man, the new candidate come contribute and keep your backside quiet. You want respect? What kind of respect you want? Pussy feelings, yeah, carry with it. When I hear me South East Saint and a pussy feelings in my carry against Lisa. She now let it go. You now get it, you now see it, you now smell it. You now come nowhere near it. And you willing, you Wizzy, and the PMP councillors, them Wizzy, willing to make PMP lose a PMP constituency because the PMP MP session are getting a pussy. And you are abnab with PMP bigwigs who you and them close and you and them their party and you and them are hung. And you are organized to PMP lose PMP seat. And them are hung, and them are hung up. And you're not my friend. Yeah, you're not a friend, you know, is it? Yeah, he was never a friend. You and I first crossed path in the two by elections in Westmoreland. And you just come down there in your Homer. I think it was a red Homer. You just come down there in your Homer for come drive up and down and go and look like important and get for hang out with portion. Come at the hotel for come hang out with portion. Sit down and looking like an idiot because you can have a whole good conversation. In a circumstances like that. And you were down in Westmoreland for the two by elections, Wizzy. We are driving up and under your arm a week and we did in there too. And every time I tell you to stop for me to talk to PMP people, you sit down in your ear condition, Homer. You never come out yet once, Wizzy, and talk to PMP people. You never, I never see you spend a dollar in a, any of the Westmoreland by elections. Not a penny. You and. What's your name, um? Farmer, MP, farmer, council, Carol, hanging out down in Westmoreland. And you did nothing for Westmoreland. The couple of days we're down there with you. You come over. You come over to Westmoreland. Maybe pretty much live down there for the two by elections. You never stop once I come out of your car and engage some PMP people. And I'm going to a bar and I talk to PMP. You never once come at the bar and come buy a drink. Ever. So I never noticed that until the other day I started remembering it. Never once. Sit on your air condition car. Hummer. 
I would drive up and down. Yeah, drive. Be a tell you when to stop. When we see PMP people, say, stop. I want to talk to them people. There. Stop this. I'm going to the bar. Stop this. I'm going to some people. Where so. But you never come out yet. So I never know what kind of work you do for PMP. Except you don't have a salty scent and I try to lose PMP seat. Because you care feelings for the PMP MP. Who decides I should not open our foot for you? And uno, the councillors of South East St. Anne, aiding and abetting this thug to lose PMP seat. Every PMP constituency and every GLP constituency have a big man, a Dan man, um, a man with beans, a man with a little bit of power. Every constituency have one. We have them at West Central St. Angela, but them can't try nothing about their center. Can I juice any so we don't have no, no strong man, no bad man, no man in charge. Every bad in charge of them only had a juice line. And a matter of fact, if you ask anybody from my ends up, so, are the woman them in charge of every damn thing. But you have bad man and big man like you yourself in you know, every constituency. South St. Andrew, South West St. Andrew, South East St. Andrew, Central Kingston, East Central St. Andrew. You have man, West Rural St. Andrew, Western St. Andrew. Every MP can tell you that them have one and two of them man there. But you know the difference between them man there and you, is it? Them man there, Kingston, them now work to undermine them MP, whether them like the MP, yes or no. Them not carry enough the feelings to the MP, them. Them man, they hold them can and do them for the one election day, them are working us, get people out to vote, because them, the man, they are big man. You, you have soft balls, you need to go grow a vagina. Because you're an idiot. I try to undermine PMP. I want to lose PMP seat. Them man, they are big man. The man, they are south. The man, they are southwest. The man, they are east central. Nobody not, so not everybody at, um, at Central Kingston did like Ronnie Tweets. But come election time, everybody round. And everybody and them, uh, big man, them, the one side and them, yo, vote, you know, rare, rare, rare. And get the PMP vote out. You're nobody undermine nobody and an organized council to come do the demonstration against MP. You are an idiot, Wizzy. Trust me. You are an idiot. And the people them who are hang out with you and are enable you, the big wig them in that PMP. PMP people me are telling you anywhere on the seam and any of them take a picture. Me tell the people them are salty sent and already. The people them are salty sent and talk about you, Wizzy. As a man, here I am, having a deep conversation with a nice looking brown fellow under the shed. After I'm telling them, tell me, say, the, the, the pack of damn know them I play with, no good. Because it mark up, mark up, and everybody know the damn know them. And nobody, but certain people can't win because the damn know them mark up, mark up. Immediately I tell him, say, don't worry about the damn I'm sure that I'm selling a clear amount. And when I reach that clear amount, I'm going to buy a pack of damn And I did buy the pack of damn I would did drop out the pack of damn but here I am, having a conversation with him. I'm going to gripe about the Domino. And I'm having a conversation with him because he never there during the election. And he did not tell me what a big PMP is. And I said, where are you going during the election? Because I'm sure Lisa could have used you. The PMP could have used you. But then you're just gone by yourself. And I'm there. I bring up a conversation. I hold a conversation with him. Having a vibes. Pure laughs. And good times. I see Richard, Richard run up by me and say, um, come here, come here, cross. One second. Excuse me, one second. And Richard look like Pina Jukim. One second, come here, cross. I say, excuse the young fella and tell him, don't move. Do not move until I come back. I command him and him now move. And I command him, them, them now move. And I went with Richard. And Richard was having conversations with two others at a different place. And Richard said to them, repeat the comment cross what you just tell me. And the man them said, oh, yeah, all the one with him. Yeah, man, the man they for go, man. The man they mash up the place. A long time, the man had the boat and the man had the food and mash up the place, you know. Yeah, man, at least I feel shit, the man, the man. The man they are wicked, man. The man they don't like people, you know. The man they like themselves. And this is me. I hear you. So how did you come to that conclusion? Yeah, I'm a born, you know. Mama, yeah, I'm a born, man. I know everything, man. I said, really, I want to know some of the things that I know. You know. So, Richard, you go and go, yeah, I'm going to talk. Because I want to know some of the things that I know. And boy, did he tell me the things that I know. 
Because talking to PMP people is a gift. And if you don't have that gift, you can't get the information. Me? Me blessed with that gift. Overwhelmingly. Me I big up my chest about it. I am the best at that. And them tell me things. Here we are, my young fellow. I tell me, oh, I'm counselor. Now do nothing unless him talk to them man. Then. Him counselor that him elect to represent him. I represent Wizzy. The counselors of South East St. Anne don't feel like them have a responsibility to represent the people that elected them. They were for first year from Wizzy. And the PMP big people, them, Uno, we are hung out with him. I'm not calling the name, you know. I'm not calling the to name tonight. Uno, we are hung out with him. When a friend and company them. We know Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke are enabling, but him are the, they him enabler. Him biggest enablers. To destroy, to destroy the PMP consequences. Because I don't know if them people are going to be a basic school. Only can destroy Lisa Anna. She a beauty queen. She a husband a billionaire. What's wrong with you know? So if we destroy South East and we you know, cause PMP to lose PMP seat and a string of a string of the whole around the town square and beat bad mind out of you know, all four counselors and on a friend. We you know, conspire to lose PMP seat. We you know, here, if PMP become government, because Bunting already set that in motion with him narrative and him visits and him meetings, which and which seat him want to be lost so that him can control the PMP. Because of course he thought that him was going to win, Ian is going to win, Fig or them never think Fig and they never win, him will win, Ian will win, um, Luther will win. And then him have Angela and Mark and whoever else. And they would have controlled the thing. And then they would be able to place them other people in the seats that they caused to lose. Like South East, St. Anne, Central Kingston, West Rural, Central West Milan. The one where Arton ran. So they thought... That this was a good plan. And PMP people have to understand that the PMP leaders and the leaders in the, the, the divisions and the leaders in the regions, I mean, I said this to no. It is treason. It is high treason to have PMP people a meet and a plan which constituency them want to lose. It's treason. It's time to say goodbye to them. Yes. We can't have them in a PMP, a destabilized PMP seat all over the place. And they knew that they could do it and get away with it. And the high-ranking former officer. High-ranking former officer of the PMP. Sit down and meet with them for lose PMP constituency. And them said them a PMP. How to square that? How to square that? Lydia, Garrick, where? You now I explain myself, you know. Now I hope I explain for the South East and Anne. Because you see me now? I'm going to roam South East Center and make sure the people them know who it is and what to do. I mean, I never tell people that to vote for them. Not at all. If I run back, I'm going to encourage PMP people to go vote for them. But I'm going to start making PMP people all you know, accountable for their actions. Who don't no help nobody. Who no counselors. Who don't no help nobody. Who don't no have the resources to get to with it. The road work, the pushing work, the this work, the drain work. All the work them go through him. And him is one man with one vote who did not vote in 2016 for the PMP candidate who did not vote in 2016 and 2020 for the PMP candidate Wizzy did not vote 
for the PMP candidate in 2016 and 2020. And UNO PMP leadership, people in high position, a hangout and a hobnob with him to destabilize PMP seat. And I dare him and challenge him to prove to me that he voted in 2016 and 2020. He did not. I'll not with him and encourage him for mash up PMP seat. Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. Angela Brown Burke, I don't know if Angela ate Lisa because she shaped them or she ate Lisa because Lisa pretty. I don't know. Because women them seem to have this thing against each other sometimes. That is bothersome to me. I mean, we can't wage a war against a woman, but it not have nothing to do with no personal, nothing. But I mean, not personal. But we don't know what is Angela's gambit. Lisa seemed to be a threat to them. But I tell you this. Lisa Hanna, as a member of parliament for South East St. Anne, must recognize, and our people them tell us, people them love her, people them support her, People them want her to continue. But I hope somebody send this to her. Comrade Lisa. Them quarreling with you, man. Your people them quarrel with you. Your people them quarreling with you. And them quarrel ends one way and one way only. At least two places we got them say you must park your car and put on your walking shoes and come walk. Now, if I have a constituency like that, and that's all my people requesting, you can't, re you can't resist that. Them talking about them roads, them talking about them water, them it kind of vex up a Miss Foreman grave digging that you didn't show up. But of course, we told them that we show up. We showed up. On your behalf, we are PMP, we did it, we don't really did it to represent you. But you are PMP and a PMP seat and Miss Foreman and a PMP. Miss Foreman have 10 people and all of them are PMP. Couldn't let PMP woman just there they are buried and we don't show up on behalf of the PMP. We showed up on behalf of the PMP and all of them don't like it. We jump off now and go because we are PMP. I am feeling very bad tonight. I am. There's no other way. I just couldn't find any other way to deal with the matter of councillors who are elected by people to serve people, serving one man. I look a poor no full of loops man. That's that what they're doing. They're not serving the people. They are meet behind them MP back with this look a poor no full of loops man. To destabilize the PMP constituency. And South East sent and we don't have to we don't have to get up, man. We don't care allow this to continue. Seriously. South East sent and we tell you no. We tell no about, about um cold heart. We tell no that clear man. I stood up in Claremont Market. Doing nothing in particular. I went over to Maureen's stall. And I buy an apple from Maureen. And she gave me a ripe banana. Good night, Maureen. And I just stood up in Claremont. I said, Maureen, niece, go back, get the pack of domino for the guys there up top, up at Beach of Hell. Just looking around and watch the team talking to people. And I felt a sense of longing sense of a sense of just longing longing for a pmp where norman manley's dream can be real that it is called the people's national party because it is meant for that people's people's national party longing for that time when pmp people have integrity and decency and loyalty. When I know you have PMP people that betray them party and betray the people who elect them. 
PMP councillors in my work for you see. I know you know. Then everybody said to me that Bell was the one that when everybody was against Lisa, him was with Lisa and then him was with Lisa until he wasn't. And I want to find out why he wasn't. What was all that hullabaloo about and letter writing about resignation and noise and excitement. And after talking to the people of his division, I came to a conclusion about you, Councillor Bell. I came to a conclusion about you. And it is not a wrong conclusion. I am right. The conclusion I came to about you, I am right. And when you hear me, you, Councillor Bell, I want a man who believe that if $10 come, you forget 6 you, Councillor Bell, believe that every $10 that come, something must be marked out of it for you. I ask you this, why? And if you don't get it, you start go off. And because you are the only lone one standing with the MP, you figured that now that the rest of them gone and you want it, you for now get eight out of the $10. What's wrong with you? You are a disgusting representative for the people. What's wrong with you? You don't deserve to represent people. You don't represent people. And the people in your division, poor. Them poor. <clears throat> them underprivileged. Them lacking in so many things. And you are scraped for yourself. For your farm, for your family. And when you need them, you drive, go look for them. And them give you one prescription. And you walk by now with the prescription. In your top pocket. For weeks. And every time them call you, you say nothing not go on it when you just call like a four hundred thousand dollar check somewhere. You're wicked and evil, and because you are the only one, listen to me. When this is done, we will be all over South East Saint Anne. And the next time we are come, we are going to make one another. We announce it so we can know we did it. Can you pass us, Councillor Bell? You pass us right at list and having soup. We saw you. We saw thee. And we saw you are a chandelier. A chandelier. So see, Councillor Bell. <laughs> chandelier, so see him there. You are one of them, Councillor. We take the people them prescription and have up their pocket and walk up and down with you. Collect thousands and millions of dollars. And the one look at damn prescription for six thousand, you have it in your pocket for three weeks. And the people them could die them and get the, 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 the look of prescription. You are one them counselor who believe that you forget out of everything that come. And if you don't get your war, and you're gonna threaten for resign, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do that, and intimidate. Intimidate. If an MP was a man who couldn't get to that problem, one hundred get shot already. And I'm not I'm not promoting any violence, please. Not promoting any violence. But the way you operate and the way you behave. You don't need to look some other profession because you don't use the politics as a feeding tree for your personal self. And you look after the people who, who voted for you. The people who empower you. You know, PMP division safe and sound. And you walk around with the people in prescription for weeks. For weeks. People them call up on the phone and talk about nothing not going on. And something going for you every damn day. And you can't fill the prescription. And Lisa, and I must get the tender and give you eight out of it. And if you don't get eight, you're going to worry, you're going to resign. Hmm. Counselor Bell, you figure that it was a strategic move on your part. Strategic. Lydia and Weir and, and Garrick, they are war with Lisa. So you're going to jab. And you're going to support Lisa. And you're dead with Lisa. Until you now get the $8 out of the $10. The job, the job of a member of parliament in terms of resources is a hard one. Well, some member of parliament, Andrew will say, is a hard one. The job of the member of parliament in terms of resources is a hard one because the needs are so many. And instead of looking after people's needs, Lydia and Weir and Gary I follow up behind Wizzy. You're not big people. I'm disappointed in you, Gary. I thought I trained you better than that. You're in the wire down in St. Anne. I thought we trained you better than that. Well, Lydia, you know. Bye.
some women can't be helped. And I hate saying that about you. Because you're a woman. But some women can't be helped. But there is hope. There's hope. There's hope, Lydia. I'm going to break away from that man. Break away from that busy thing, man. He miss nobody. I'm just a man who can't pussy feelings for Lisa Anna. He miss nobody. I uno make him into somebody by making him feel like him a smaddy. And all he's intended to do is for us to lose the consequences so he can have the bragging rights of that. And the PNP people will back him up and I meet with him and I hang out with him and I drink with him. Think that funny? It's not funny. He wants to have bragging rights to so say, and me get with that girl. You get rid of Samba, no, you can't get rid of Lisa. And you're going to get rid of the next one who come if them don't play the same ball with you. Come on, PMP. Come on. Come on, PMP. May have faith. The reason why the PMP resistance out there is not only to hear what people have to say. That's not the only reason we're out there. We're out there to also give them faith. Give them hope. Let them know that the PMP is not dead right now it's in a coma but it's not dead one go they go make them know say pmp are still normal man the party we want to make them go they go know that pmp still remains jamaica's best hope and best chance and you know, i keep meeting where people tape you know and the people they meet you know would i keep meeting for under for throughout the mp i want to get tape count not dumb criminals dumb as a doorknob Uno I a caterer for espionage activity. You have an espionage activity, you walk with your biscuit and your water. That's how espionage activity work. You buy a sandwich somewhere and walk with it. Or you walk with your water. If you have a bring caterer, that caterer better be part of the espionage activity. But the catty. <laughs> Tape on the ass. Hold on the video. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, Jamaica's dumbest criminal starring Peter Mercat, guest star Angela Brown Burke, guest star beside Angela Brown Burke, Paul Christopher Burke, other guest stars Garnet Roper. The we'll leave him story for your next day. Jamaica's dumbest criminals having an espionage meeting to derail the member of parliament. Assault he sent and to lose. It's not about Lisa. Now have nothing to do with Lisa. It have to do with Uno wanting to lose the PMP seat. That is what it has to do with. Lisa not perfect. Nobody's perfect except me. Anyway, forget about that. Nobody not perfect. But why? Why this everlasting only by espionage and backward dealings? To destabilize South East Saint Anne because of Lisa. Why? Come on, South East Saint Anne. You must sit them on the road and ask them why. The young ladies, they were up on the grave digging. Tell me, they must sit them and ask them why. Because I tell them, say, them to ask them why. I just want to know when I talk to you. To the, to the young ladies. On the voters list? Yeah. On a vote the last election? Yeah. On a vote the election before. We always vote for PMP. We love Lisa. When the next time you see a councillor, ask him why he meeting to under, undermine him MP. Ask him why. Ask him what the MP do him. Why him gathering with other people who ought to be PMP to lose the PMP seat. Jesus. Why? What is it that you would go through this lens and invite a former high-ranking officer of the PMP to come join you know? To come join that foolishness? Planning to hoist, to host, sorry, the PMP MP to lose the PMP seat. Ask him why. I said. I said, when you see a counselor, ask him why. It is not. It is not. 
a forgiving thing. It is unforgiving what they have done. I am putting it to you. Southeast St. Anne. I'm coming back to Southeast. Yes, Devon. I'm coming back to Southeast. Coming up back to Southeast. I put it to you. Delegates of the People's National Party. It is in your hands that Norman Manley place this awesome responsibility to decide on who your leaders are, divisional, constituency, councillor, everybody. South East St. Anne, I told enough of you. And I want to spread the word to the rest of you. The power is yours. Norman Manley gave that to you. It's your power. You can decide who lead you. And as we close this live, I want you to understand that the last five weeks have been very pleasing for me. Pleasing in the sense that I am glad that God chose me to do it. But it's hard, so has been heartrending and, um, and somewhat depressing. And it sometimes leaves me in a depressive state. Some of the things you, you hear. But there were moments, a lot of those moments, when you meet a PMP person or two and they lift your spirit by the things they say to you. Or you walk into a PMP yard like we did in Walker's Wood and we spread out and I knock at a gate. I didn't knock really. I stopped at the gate because I saw them on the veranda. And I said, can I have a word with you? She said, I saw me. I said, I said, no, darling. I'm not telling that thing. But I would like to sell you on the idea of the People's National Party. And once I said that, their faces light up. We're PMP long time. We're PMP long time. Those are the joyous moments for me. Are the people who say, I will always be PMP no matter what. It was great to have those moments with PMP people. But it is also worrisome. The length that some people went through to lose a PMP seat, to destabilize the PMP because of personal vendettas. And we have Angela Bromberg, who is chairman of the People's National Party, who was sitting in that meeting. We have a Paul Burke, who is a former general secretary of the party, who was sitting in that meeting. And we have sitting councillors who the people elected to represent them sitting in those meetings. And we have other people, former vice presidents, former general secretary, officer of the PMP, who are hug up with who him and them are friends. As if them don't know what I'm doing. Can I listen to him instead of listening to the PMP people and listen to the PMP MP who have her issues? She does. Lisa have her issues with her people. But those are not insurmountable issues. As I'm telling you, those are, those are ordinary issues that MPs have with them people. Water and road and walking and seeing you and talking to people and treat people with respect and come check people and look for people and give people credit and give people respect. But I'm telling you something. Those problems are real for South East and Anne and Lisa. But I understand after being there also that with all that's going on around her, it is not easy to just reach around that, to reach your people them, when your people are being infiltrated and lies are being told and they have been organized to be against you. It's not easy. I can't even begin to imagine how hard that must be. So she, Lisa Hannah, Needs to work harder. She needs to rise above that and go into the consequence and go talk to her people them because I fear her people them and I wish the people them. This is an idiot. This is a thug. There is no man of his stature in Kingston who behave the way he does. None. No bad man no assault no behave so. Not even Mark who them not like them not undermine him. Them way there. 
No bad man doon sa Southwest na BF sa Naida against Angela Brownberg. No bad man na BF sa Southwest against Peter Phillips and them man. And him a bad man. He's an idiot. But no man with them a kind of statue there. Now nah, be of them we to undermine and lose PMP seat. They must do what them can to ensure that PMP win. Because that's what man of your stature does. Help PMP win since you say you're a big man. Since you say you got money. Carve out a niche for yourself. What kind of respect do you want? Respect must be given to every member of the constituency. And that include you, but you don't want respect. You care pussy feelings. Deep, deep. You can't deep was the feeling. You can't get over that yet. And for that, you are willing. For that wizzy, you are willing for the PMP to lose South East Saint Anne. I want to all on where Abner would him understand me, you know. For that, he is willing to lose the PMP seat after Bunting and Ian Ears and Dayton Campbell and, and Luther Buchanan. Employed people in Westmoreland to look for vast to lose, and them and them show off and they on social media a brag about it. Employed people in St. James for art to lose. Talk about we don't know if my one away, those are reasons. To say goodbye. To say goodbye to these people. It's time for PMP to say goodbye to these people. By the way, somebody tell Luther Buchanan and Danny Box him to come check him now, please. Seriously. Danny Box and Luther must come check him. And it's time that the PMP leadership get a grip, man. Get a grip. It's time to do all of that. My final word tonight before I leave is this. All the people who want to become leader, all the people with great potential, Philip Paulwell, Raymond Price, Philip Paulwell, the Zane master, Mr. PMP himself, Raymond Price, I'm guessing that probably Raymond write all of the um the um the curriculum of Harvard. If he didn't, he should. Damian Crawford, Lisa Anna, Crystal Tomlinson, Imani Duncan Price, Mikhail Phillips, Andre Orton. And yes, young Vaz. Don't give up, young Vaz. All of you. I want to say to the people who are looking to be leaders going forward. Mm. The PMP, under absolutely no circumstance, can survive with each of you being individual, all by yourself, in our little camp on a corner within the two, two people. The only way to redeem it and reclaim it is for all of you, those names that I call just now, to understand that we need each other. The PMP people that are road say we need each other. They want to see all of uno, those names that I just call. They want to soon tight. They want to sooner together. They want to sooner as one. They don't want sooner scattered over there, so everybody talking them own thing. And none of you will survive on your own. None of you. Not one of you. You need each other. And the only way this will work is for all of you to understand that you need each other. PMP people them not gone nowhere. They are there. They are welcoming. They are hungry for people to talk to them. They are hungry for talk. Sometimes we are talk. We don't like leave them not ready yet. They are hungry. Areas in Southeast, St. Anne, 
we are a, a great majority of PMP people voted labor rights. I could only identify two years where that happened. I could only identify some scattered places where people got money not to vote. And that was Wizzy's influence. I can identify PMP people who show up for vote and that was Wizzy's influence. And Uno PMP people gave him all of that influence to destabilize PMP. And the PMP people of South East St. Anne, slowly but surely, is beginning to understand that it's him or them. Him is one man, a puny little man. Him no hold no sway over Uno. Uno need to take it back and reclaim it. And probably line him up in the square and invite Will Smith to come along. Comrades, friends, thank you for joining us for these last five weeks. I hope that you thoroughly got some information from what we had to say. I hope that you also got a little fun out of it, because, you know, I don't like to do nothing as a little fun. Um, we're going to close off the lives for tonight, for the, for, the, for the next couple of weeks. We're still on the road. We're not going on the road this week. We're going to take this week to analyze the, the information we have and, and put together some data. And then we um I want to tell the people of St. Mary that will soon come check on you know, so we can stop on the nice. Portland on the known my people will soon come check on you know. Yes, yes, Manchester. Oh Manchester, I hear you loud and clear. Soon come. Trelawney. Yep, 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 yep. I hear you. Know. We'll soon come check on you know. Don't worry. We'll check on you know soon. We're going to be everywhere. And we're not going to stop until we cover all grounds so don't fear that as long as god gives me the strength and the people who contribute to make it possible continues to contribute you will see us and we will make it happen stay safe don't worry pmp is not dead just in a coma and we are hoping that they're going to leave soon god bless you god bless your family stay safe keep the children safe thank you